evening and welcome. I'm Selena Mee with the VSB TV 11 Evening News on this Tuesday, March the 11th. At the top of tonight's news, the signing of the Declaration on Collaboration for the Conservation of the Sargasso Sea took place today at the Rosewood Tucker's Point Hotel with Premier Craig Cannonier calling it an historic occasion. Flanked by Dr. David Freestone, Executive Director of the Sargasso Sea Alliance, and Dr. Derek Benz, Secretary to the Cabinet, the Premier affixed his signature along with the Azores, Monaco, Great Britain, Northern Ireland, and the United States. This is the moment we've been waiting for, uh, the formal signing ceremony of the Hamilton Declaration. I'd like to invite the Premier of Bermuda, the Honorable Craig Cannonier, uh, to say a few words before he signs the document on behalf of the government of Bermuda. Premier? Thank you very much. Um, let me just say this is uh, quite an occasion, although the room uh, certainly does not uh, give its uh, due diligence to the impact that this is going to have uh, universally. Uh, so, once again, I'd like to thank you for attending and participating in this historic event. Um, as lead government of the Sagasso Sea Alliance, Bermuda is proud to be a part of this great initiative. We know that today marks the beginning of further collaboration between interested governments through the dedicated work of the Sagasso Sea Commission. So on behalf of the government of Bermuda, I really want to say a heartfelt thank you for what this means to future generations for what this means, even the impact of now, that the world looking on, seeing us come together in a collaborative way to ensure that there is a future in our waters for all of us. Tragically, the St. George's couple whose bodies were found yesterday afternoon in their home on Wellington Slip Road have been officially identified as 49-year-old Anthony Robinson and his 48-year-old wife Regina Robinson, nay Welch. The arrival of an overseas pathologist is expected today and this morning Acting Superintendent Nicholas Pedro and Acting Detective Chief Inspector David Greenridge answered questions as best they could. We are keenly aware that this incident will have prompted alarm and fear in what is a very closely knit neighborhood. We want to reassure the community that resident that uh, that we are looking at all possibilities and angles in this matter including the most obvious ones it is important that we as police officers keep an open mind in all matters such as these and we ask that members allow the investigation to run its course so that we can determine the facts as best the available evidence will allow this investigation does have some very unique features to it um, of course, there will be a lot of speculation as what has happened. Um, we're in the infancy of this investigation, um, and it's very important that we speak to any person or anyone who has seen, spoken to, or interacted with either Regina Robinson or Anthony Robinson during the past few days, more specifically over um, the weekend. In view of the fact that all of the media but the Royal Gazette withheld the couple's names until they were released, Mr. Pedro was asked how this impacted the policy of the police. Our primary concern is and uh, loyalty is to the family and friends of the victims and, and our responsibility to ensure that they are informed. Uh, we took a particular decision to not formally release the names until today because we wanted to ensure that all family members had been informed. In your inquiries, are you looking for anybody else in the scenario? Um, we have to keep all options open. Um, at this point, like I said, it's, it's in its infancy. There are a couple of lines of inquiry that we intend to pursue, um, that we did also pursue last night and will continue to pursue today. Um, and as I said before, with the arrival of the pathologist, the forensic um, pathologist, um, his findings will definitely direct us in, in the right direction. How many children were involved? Um, we understand that there are there are children involved um, and they were present at the scene yesterday and that we are, they are working closely with our family liaison officers um, uh, on both sides of the family. Former Health Minister Zane De Silva all but suggested that Colonial Insurance was running the Bermuda Hospitals Board when he spoke in Parliament on Monday night against the introduction of pre-certification for medical services. 
Mr. Speaker, on January 28th, we had an article in the Royal Gazette, which I could table. It was a big article from the doctors in this, in this country. And they were asking these same questions. It's now March. I haven't seen any answers to these questions, Mr. Speaker. I haven't seen... No, I haven't. I haven't seen any answers for anything. And, Mr. Speaker, all, if not certainly most, doctors are against this. I have to ask myself sometimes, who's running the health ministry these days? Who's running it? Is it colonial insurance? Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm uh, re yeah, that uh, he should retract uh, that. I don't remember. Senator, you've been thank, given thank him an opportunity without right. having any government remember, to hold any of this stuff. Yeah. It's innocent. I don't remember. Stay, 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 off, stay off that line. Okay, Mr. Uh, well, 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 Mr. Speaker, the only, re the only reason I made that statement, I can pull it back, <laughs> but the Honorable Member, who is the Chairman of Colonial, sits in this House. His wife is on the hospital's uh, board. His, his top employee sits on the Bermuda Health Council. So, you know... I say that, Mr. Speaker, and, and, and the recent symposium up at, up at uh, Princess, was the major sponsor was Colonial, and they tell me that the priority was this preset. You see, Mr. Speaker, so you see, you see, you see, Mr. Speaker, this, this is where I'm going, and that's why I made the statement I did. Now, who, who and why, I ask, I ask who and why is behind this? Inquiring minds want to know. If you happen to miss the television airing of VSB TV at 11, no, no fear. Thanks to the miracle of telecommunications technology, it is now possible to watch VSB Channel 11 television news not only on the Internet, but also on iPhones, Androids, iPads, and mobile cell phones. And at any time of the day you choose. Once we have uploaded the TV news, usually after 8 p.m., you can visit our VSB.BM website in a Wi-Fi zone and enjoy the latest evening news at any time during the next 24 hours. Still ahead, we have Peter Cattell with the weather preview. Thanks very much, Selena. And as you can see on the radar, just a few showers in the area. We'll take a full look at the forecast later on in the news. The weather radar picture provided courtesy of the Ministry of Transport on VSB TV 11. You can count on us. Save $2 on vine on tomatoes, only $2.99 per pound. Save $1.40 per pound on fresh Purdue chicken drumsticks value pack, only $1.99 per pound. Great savings of 70 cents on a dozen imported white eggs, only $2.39. All varieties of the yogurt six ounce tubs, only 99 cents. Soak up savings with Scott White paper towels, only $1.99 per roll. All stores open until 10 p.m. for your shopping convenience. You can count on us. Copy Fax is Bermuda's authorized Samsung dealer. See a large range of Samsung color and black and white multifunctional machines, printers, scanners, faxes, and copiers, and all networkable. CopyFax has Samsung machines suitable for home, office, or any size business in an A4 format, taking up less room than other similar equipment. And replacement supplies are in stock for all of their Samsung products. Affordable shopping at CopyFax Limited, where service comes first. Digicel Postpay Refresh is here. Get any of the latest smartphones with no money down. Easy monthly payments start at only $10 per month. Choose from a wide range of devices. Pay absolutely nothing up front. And only $35 per month for a Samsung Galaxy S4. Or $40 per month for a BlackBerry Q10. And then upgrade to a new smartphone whenever you like. Digicel Postpay Refresh for all Digicel customers. Join Digicel today. Now you can bring your number with you. Visit DigicelBermuda.com for details. Be extraordinary. Digicel. And welcome back to VSB TV 11. Opposition PLP MPs yesterday hammered at OBA Finance Minister Bob Richards and OBA backbencher Jeff Souza over their right to run in the last general election. And their future could be questionable if action is taken over a minority report attached to a select committee report on the disclosure of candidates' interests. Chris Lodge has our report. Walton Brown and Kim Wilson are claiming the two politicians failed to properly disclose their business interests with government in the run-up to the December 2012 general election and as such may not have the legitimate right to sit in Parliament. 
The minority report tabled in Parliament yesterday says voters in the constituencies where the Honourable Richards and the Honourable Sousa ran successfully have a right to expect and to know whether or not those elections are legally valid. And likewise, Parliament should want to know whether or not members sitting in its august chambers are legitimately entitled to be doing so. The honourable thing to do is for these two members to make full and immediate disclosure of the right to continue to sit in Parliament. The opposition MPs say Mr. Richards and Mr. Sousa both declared interests in government contracts in the 2007 election, but although both men were widely believed to be involved in the same or similar contracts in 2012, neither of them made any declaration in accordance with the Constitution and the Act. I'm Chris Large, BSB News. Thank you, Chris. Tomorrow, on any member of Age Concern or any senior wishing to pay the $20 joining fee can attend a seminar on how to take advantage of the propane-powered appliances. It is being held at the Berlin Gas Showrooms on Serpentide Road as part of Age Concern's Wednesday Wisdom Series. Cynthia Wright, Marketing Manager for Bermuda Gas, tells us about the event. Well, Bermuda Gas is hosting a seminar entitled Save Time, Money, and the Environment uh, by using propane-powered appliances. And the reason we think that Age Concern members should uh, attend is because we, as a link partner, offer special um, concessions to them, including a 10% discount on a number of our services. And we think that this is one way that we can actually help to give back to them. What kind of subjects will you cover? Well, basically what we're going to do is we're going to start with a presentation from one of our senior gas technicians, and he's going to run through some of the things that people maybe don't know about running um, propane-powered appliances, including things like um, it takes three-quarters of the time to dry a load of laundry in a gas-powered dryer as it does in an electric one, um, just approximately the 20% savings that you can gain by using a propane-powered appliance in general, mm. things like that, and he'll um, talk about those. Environment, that's always a good word. Yes. Absolutely, because a lot of people aren't familiar with the fact that propane is considered to be a very clean air fuel. It's been given that status in the U.S. We haven't done anything similar here. Does it? Now, this is for age concern, so a major question is, right. does it save money? Yes, it does. The actual um, amount of gas in that particular vehicle, in other words, in the mini tank, is the same as you would have in a, in a cylinder. But because we're monitoring it for you, um, you don't have to have two on your premises. It's automatically, um, we bring a bulk tank to your location and we refill it when we know that you are running low. And also, if a customer wants to check, there is a monitor, a gauge on it that they can actually check and see what's going on with it. Why have you chosen Age Concern? Why have we chosen Age Concern to support or for the seminar? For the seminar. Um, for the seminar because they approached us and they said how can we help to give some information um, back to seniors other than the fact that we already offer a discount program, program for them on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. um, we decided that this was probably a very timely topic. In keeping with the historic importance of today's signing of a declaration by a number of nations empowering Bermuda's efforts to save the Sargasso Sea, the Sargasso Sea Alliance has produced a short video explaining what is at stake, and it is our pleasure to run it for you and your children to enable them to appreciate the importance of today's ceremony. Oceans cover more than two-thirds of the surface of the Earth. They are the planet's largest habitat and a critical support system for life on Earth, including millions of species. Humankind is deeply dependent on oceans. As the planet's population has grown to more than 7 billion people, certain unsustainable human activities have threatened the health of world oceans. The vast and ominous nature of this threat has ignited ocean stewardship efforts across the world. The marine protected areas have expanded significantly in recent years, but protected areas still represent less than 2% of world oceans versus more than 15% for the terrestrial world. Nearly all marine protection efforts have focused on areas lying within national jurisdictions, but far more than half of the world's oceans lie beyond areas of national jurisdiction. These open ocean areas are classified as high seas. The lack of effective governance for this, the world's largest ecosystem, has potentially far-reaching consequences for mankind. In this historic context, the Sargasso Sea Alliance was created in 2010 by the Government of Bermuda in a collection of like-minded individuals and organizations. 
the Alliance has sought to improve stewardship for the vast and unique ecosystem of the Sargasso Sea and to create a roadmap for high sea stewardship worldwide. Sometimes referred to as the great golden rainforest of the world's oceans, the Sargasso Sea is the world's only floating seaweed habitat. Most of the nearly two million square miles of this ecosystem lies in the high seas of the North Atlantic Ocean. Some 200,000 square miles lie within the national jurisdiction of Bermuda. As documented in a scientific assessment by the Alliance, the Sargasso Sea is teeming with life. It is an open ocean refuge for marine wildlife that justifies ranking alongside legendary terrestrial sites such as the Serengeti Plains and Yosemite Park. It is an area of great biological importance and home to a rich community of hundreds of species. Iconic marine wildlife such as whales, dolphins, marlin, sailfish, sharks, tuna, swordfish, turtles and manta rays inhabit or migrate through the Sargasso Sea. Dramatically declining stocks of bluefin tuna are believed to spawn in this part of the western Atlantic. Endangered eel species spawn in the Sargasso Sea after migrations that can extend thousands of miles. Above the surface, the Sargasso Sea plays an important role in the lives of many seabirds. Thousands of feet below, sea mounts and ridges provide important and fragile marine habitats. Less visible but vitally important are almost unfathomably vast populations of phytoplankton and other microorganisms that generate oxygen, sequester carbon, and otherwise contribute to vital ocean processes. The health of world oceans is under pressure, and the Sargasso Sea is no exception. It is vulnerable to current and prospective threats ranging from overfishing to pollution and acidification. In response to these threats, the Sargasso Sea Alliance has worked with many countries and non-governmental organizations to create a precedent-setting vision and plan for conservation. The proposed declaration has already been reviewed by representatives of many countries. The adoption of this declaration in 2014 would bring us one step closer to doubling the amount of protected oceans worldwide, and it would establish an historic precedent for stewardship of the planet's vast and vital high seas. There is no daily markets report tonight. However, after the break, we'll have more news. For much more furniture, visit Bermuda's only Ashley Furniture Gallery. Big Saving Zone. You want the best? Forget the rest. For all your furniture needs, shop Big Saving Zone and support your local retailers. Have you ever ordered something online expecting it to be a certain price, but when it arrives it ends up being a whole lot more? Beware of those unexpected hidden fees. That never happens at Big Saving Zone. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Big Saving Zone, at the end of Stocks Road, St. David's. Noah's Ark Feed and Supply at Marsh Lane, Devonshire with the best selection of pet supplies in Bermuda. Tropical fish enthusiasts will find everything for building the perfect aquarium, large or small. Noah's Ark can feed your pets with quality brand name foods as well as providing them with nutritional supplements and grooming supplies to keep them looking and feeling their best. Don't forget playtime. Your dogs, cats, birds and other family favorites will love the toys and activity items too. Noah's Ark Feed and Supply, number one on every animal lover's list, open till 6 nightly. Save $1.50 per pound on fresh XL assorted pork chops, only $3.49 per pound. Save $4 per package on fresh strawberries, just $4.99 for a one-pound package. Simply $5,000, double rolled toilet tissue, only $3.49 for a package of four. Makes a great and quick meal. Shop right spaghetti, only $1.19 for a 16-ounce box. Save $0.80 cents on one liter bottles of regular or Diet Coke or regular Sprite soda, only $2.09. All stores open until 10 p.m. for your shopping convenience. You can count do you know your rights as a consumer? Visit the Consumer Affairs website to find out how to hire a contractor, how to buy and maintain your vehicle, information on buying secondhand goods, tips for seniors and teens, personal finance tips, product recall information, to file a complaint with Consumer Affairs. For the latest consumer news and much more, visit ca.gov.bm. We live in a beautiful environment. One way to help keep it that way is to always remember your reusable grocery bag. 
If you forgot, you can still do your part in saving our planet by buying a Marketplace Green Bag for only $1.19. Not only are they good for groceries, but they're handy for many other uses. Always have your bags in sight of you or put your grocery list in one so that you don't forget your reusable bags. You and the Marketplace are helping to save the environment by choosing to reuse. Welcome back. In sports tonight, the Botanical Gardens will be a beehive of activity this Sunday afternoon with close to 700 youngsters participating in the 16th annual KPMG Round the Grounds races. Organizers have added relay races for the senior groups this year. More from race director Deborah Norman. Okay. I actually represent the uh, Mid-Atlantic Athletic Club and uh, for the last 16 years we've been working with KPMG organizing these races for kids in the botanical gardens. Okay. Tell us more about it. What's the numbers like? When does it take place? What does it involve? What, what event? <laughs> okay, well, it takes place on Sunday, the races do, and they start promptly at 1. Um, and we have age ranges from 4 uh, right through to 18. And uh, the first race is at 1, which is the um, a 4 year old girls' race. And then after that, they start in waves uh, very quickly, one following on from the other. Um, so we do always urge people to try and get there as early as possible and park up. Some people like to walk the course and so on. And then the races, the races start. Right. So it's all running, no cycling and all these other. No, events. no, no, no. It's just running. I should Im imagine that people can probably hear. It sounds like a small earthquake <laughs> when we get upwards of, of 700 kids running. Um, the uh, four and five year olds run uh, about 400 meters, um, and then obviously those distances increase up to the rather heavy and arduous two miles that um, the 13 to 18 year segment run. Right. Now, how has it been building over the years? Because it didn't start out six, seven hundred, I'm sure. No, it didn't. I think um, at one point it was below a hundred runners, and then recently on the island, I think we all know that all kids love to run. Um, then there's been a, a real sort of upsurge in interest in in kids who just love running. That it's not about winning; it's about taking part and getting exhausted and just pushing themselves yeah. around the botanical garden. Exactly. I mean, it's track meets, there's, uh, I think they had something the other night, yes, a dash at the night. Dark. They had the dash at dark, so it starts with the Telford Mile in yeah. March, then we have the dash at dark, and uh, and then this is always the last race uh, in that, of the sort of kids races, right. um, and uh, really it's great because I think one creates enthusiasm for the next and, and so on. So on. Now, how do I get my child in there if I want to? Or how do, well, I'm a bit old, I can't get in there, but. Uh. <laughs> okay, well, if you can um, advise anyone you know with children to sign their kids up, they can either do it through a paper entry, which is, um, the paper entries are mostly in the sports cellar in the Washington Mall. Um, uh, also schools, they have sign up forms as well. should do it. Enjoy your new shower. Experience the bold look of Kohler at a Kohler registered showroom. Choose to be healthy, Bermuda. Get out there and exercise with a sunscreen hat and shirt on every day. Eat healthy, don't smoke, and check your brown spots once a month to detect skin cancer early. Anything growing darker, bigger, Jagged borders needs to be checked. Wear your sunscreen, hat, and shirt every day. Be sun safe, Bermuda. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Weather Show. It's brought to you by the Bermuda Weather Service, and we're wearing another hat tonight. Well, we wanted to remind you that it was the third anniversary of the terrible earthquake and tsunami that hit Japan. That was uh, three years ago today. 
Looking at the temperatures, the high today was 72, that was at 3 p.m., and the low is 62 at 5 a.m. The current conditions, 69 degrees the temperature, humidity 70%, the winds west-southwest 12 to 18 knots, and the barometric pressure is steady at 29.91 inches. The rainfall index for the month of March, 2.13 inches so far. The total year-to-date 16.44, and the normal would be 11.89. Now let's take a look at the satellite. The public synopsis, breezy and mainly dry conditions continue until Wednesday evening when a weak trough brings strong winds and a few showers. A distant low then sends a cold front into the area late Thursday afternoon with possible gales, showers, and a chance of thunder. Conditions will gradually settle through Friday as cooler temperatures arrive. Taking a look at the gateway cities, rain in Atlanta, 63, rain in Boston, 43, Charlotte, 71, with rain. Sunny skies in London, 59. Miami, 83, partly cloudy. New York, 44, with rain. Orlando, 82, mostly cloudy. Rain in Philadelphia, and 53 degrees. Toronto, snow, 19, and Washington, rain, and 67. For tonight, a low of 62, with showers, winds west-southwest, 12 to 18 knots, decreasing 10 to 15 knots. For tomorrow, partly sunny with showers, a high of 73, the winds west-southwest 10 to 15 knots, becoming southwest 12 to 18 knots, and increasing south-southwest at 20 to 25 knots. And the marine tonight, seas inside 1 to 2 feet, seas outside 3 to 6 feet, and the sea surface temperature 69 degrees. The marine tomorrow sees inside 1 to 2 feet, sees outside 5 to 9 feet, the high tide 11.15 a.m., and low tide at 5.05 p.m. Now taking a look at the five-day forecast, well, as you can see, it's going to be mostly windy with showers and thunder around for Thursday, a high of 73, Friday becoming much cooler, partly sunny with showers, a high of 63, and then on Saturday, windy with a high of 65, and Sunday, much the same as the preceding days. Well, thanks so much for tuning in, and uh, we do hope you have a good evening. Good night. We thank you for choosing to spend your evening with us at VSB TV 11. Good night, Bermuda. Peter Cattell's attire, courtesy of A.S. Cooper & Sons Limited. ESB, TV11, Bermuda.